Hey everyone, I have my very good friend Clyde Haygood here. Hey guys. Celebrity hairstylist. World renowned. World renowned. One of Hollywood's hottest. Hollywood's hottest. <laughs> All the way at the and top. Very guys. modest. Very <laughs> modest, very humble, extremely talented. Not even. And a always joke. a good time. Always. I mean. <laughs> With us two together. I know. We're here to talk about Clyde. We're here to talk about his favorite wigs. Yes. We're here to talk about and you and, and me, your favorite wigs and my and favorite how we wigs. We join forces with Tressa, Tressa Lore to our share our secrets line. with the world. I want to know, honest, like, how did you get into this business? What was well, your? Well, I think I, I, you know, I grew up as a thespian and in the theater and stuff. So there were looks and costumes and wigs, and you know, it was. I guess I'd have to tell my secrets, it was the 80s, so everything was about hair at that point. You know what I mean? The drama and hair and colors and funky and music and uh, music videos. So that totally attracted me to that whole world. So I kind of, you, you just look at that stuff and you're like, I want to do that. It's true. And I jumped right in. I will say one of my first jobs ever, I went to an agency and said, hey, I do hair and I just want to let y'all know about me. And they said, do you want to fly to Houston to do the bangles for the cover of Spin tomorrow? And I went, are you kidding me? So that was one of my first jobs, was getting to do pop icons for a major magazine cover. Amazing. And I said, well, this is the route for me. Yeah. Screw Sometimes. college, I'm going in this direction. Well, you know what <laughs> they say, like when your path just opens like easily and yeah. seamlessly, it's really meant yeah. for you. I do feel that way. Amazing. Yeah. So who was your like big break, you know? Big break. They I know you said you did like the bangles. I know, like, right. What was, but like, there's been so what was many, that career I mean, moment, like the very first one that you were like, oh my God, it just well, opened the floodgates to like, you know. I will say uh, Kardashian, this, Katy that Perry, I'm one honey. lucky guy that I've gone through three decades with like the biggest girl groups that have ever existed because I had Spice Girls in the 90s and Pussycat Dolls in the 2000s, and then Fifth Harmony and has been some of my latest clients, and I still work with some of the girls individually today now that they've broken out and are, you know, artists on their own. Anybody can do anything. Versatility is, is, is key. Accessible. It's, yeah, and, and why not change it up, you know? Some what is the Clyde style, the Clyde trick that everybody well, wants? Yeah, I mean, I do like, Sex bombshell hair because I do <laughs> Me from too. my Kardashians to my Beverly Hills Housewives to my pop stars. You know, I am one that likes a sexy bedhead, voluminous head of hair. I do too. I, lots of movement, lots of texture. I, I feel like the Kardashians have really influenced so much of that Without into a doubt. Uh, us mainstream girls. Can we say that you were the hands behind that trend? Well, I can certainly say that I've been there since day one, and I'm still in their bathroom today. So, uh, what do you think? I'm is, very lucky in that sense. What is like the number one secret of like backcombing to like really keep it up and uh, not look like a teased bird's nest? Yes, because I see people take like a brush and just go. <laughs> <laughs> but I have my secret. Yes. I'll be right back. Right. Show me how you do it. Let's, people just take it and with, well, now I don't have a brush on me, and they'll just brush and brush, and it just makes like a mess that's out and down. If you just want lift at your scalp, all you do is take like tiny little pushes. You may just really close, do tiny little pushes, and then you may layer with hairspray, and then go back and do a push, and this little push at the root is what is I going to give you, that. give you the volume there. Oh my God, that is such a big difference. I think I used to do it the way you did before I learned better, but we're sharing with you now so you can do it better too. What did they say? Yeah. When you know better, you do better? Sounds good to me. All right, so no more bird's nests out there, you hear me? No, tiny little pushes at the scalp. You want it to lift from the scalp. That's a so, really good one. Yeah. So what would you say, is that something that like can transcend to every woman? Like you're doing that on your celebrities, but like... Yes. Well, it's true. Like, um, I mean, everybody likes a little lift every now and then, you know? I yeah. Mean, even though 
And then even though like hair extensions are so popular these days and, and hair is gone like more sleek and flat like the share look like Kim wears often mm -hmm. but still there's pieces and hair extensions in there and that secret of those tiny little pushes to tease rather than just a big ratty thing is going to be better for your clip-ins for them to have support and to stay in your hair you know you do a little, tiny little push and it helps the clip to stay in and um because if you just make a big ratty nest and are putting clips in, you're going to break your hair. So, so when they're wearing, so when they're wearing that share look, yes, are there really like tiny teases in there? Yeah. You heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some other like trends that you feel like you really had your hands behind over the last few decades that people might not know about that they need to know about? Well, I mean. I've always been in love with wigs and hair pieces, so you know it used to always be a secret. Like, yeah. Like nobody wanted their secret to bulge, whether they had extensions in or whether they were wearing a wig. And now it's like clout, like look at me, girl, look what I got today, it's and true. I'm going to be different tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you all about it. And about, it's like, and they're scanning their you know wig closets on Instagram. They certainly are, and I, I love that about this day and age because it's really that's that's a really major change. Yeah, it's, it's the true. secrets out. So show it off and change it up. It's so true. Well, Clyde. Yes. That was an awesome chat. Um, so good Love to you see babe. you as always. Good to see you too. If you guys, gals, and everyone in between want to <laughs> check out Tressalore's products, you can go to tressalore.com and pick out what works for you. There's so many options. Have fun with it. Give it a try. Versatility.